to basketball, the fourth ranked Stewartville Tigers in class 3A hit the road visiting HVL opponent Goodhue. Right away, Stewartville showing off their size, 6'7", Caleb Bancroft banging inside, taking it to the defender, easy basket for the junior. But Goodhue also can get inside and score. Nice back cut from Michael Roshan, sneaks behind the Tigers defense, easy turnaround score from close range. Tigers, they can score with ease. Henry Cheddar with the screen gets inside for a left-handed layup, but enough scoring from the inside. Let's get some outside action here. Parker Wongen, skip pass for Logan Quam, a good step beyond the arc, drills it, putting Stewartville up by nine. Tigers, more easy scoring this time. Tegan Malone from the top of the three is good. Tigers show their dominance tonight, winning 87-32 over Goodhue. Staying in the HBL, we're in Pine Island. Panthers hosting Zombroda Mazeppa, Panthers Drew Saylor doing it himself here. The tough floater drops despite heavy contest from the Cougars. Speaking of the Cougars, Oliver Liffrig finds the soft spot in the paint. Nice pass, and Liffrig planks it off the glass. More from ZM as Carter Christofferson is going to take this to the rack. He feels the defense converge while he's off his feet. One more pass to Connor Fogarty. Gives it up to give ZM the lead. These two going back and forth. Van Oberg, give me my lead back. Corner three, he says thank you. Pine Island back up by one, but something changed after the half. One team kept the momentum, the other stalled. From the corner, Preston Ohm knocks down the three, sparking five straight Cougars buckets. When this one was said and done, ZM continues that second half dominance. They take another HBL road win, 55 to 36 tonight. More scores from the HBL conference, third ranked Lake City. A big 65-50 to 50 win over Casson Manorville. As for the Byron Bears, they post a big home win, 84-54 to 54 over the Lured Eagles. More highlights for you here. This one takes us to St. Charles. Lewiston Altura, the Cardinals in town visiting. Noah Osley gets Zane Nelson inside, and the big man puts the cards up by two late in the second half. St. Charles, Connor Grancy need the answer. Jumper. Count it, 67-67. That takes us into overtime. Lewiston Altura, Jace Ferguson. Nice floating finish with the right hand. Cardinals back up by two, but Connor Grancy finds Mason Asp, the soccer star from three. Count it, Saints lead by one. Cardinals coming the other way. Ferguson to Zane Nelson inside, and now the Cardinals back ahead by one. Mason Asp at the free throw line, tied this one at 71s. Now can he clutch up and connect? Four seconds left on the clock. He's got it, giving his team the lead. This one, an overtime thriller from St. Charles. The last second heave, no good. Saints win in overtime, 72-71. More in the Three Rivers Conference. Wabasha Kellogg on the road visiting PEM. We're going to pick this one up in the first half. Coda Sanders to Aaron Martinez from three. That counts. Bulldogs going ahead by three. Now Liam Powers finds Coda Nelson. Last assist there. Another three-pointer doubling the Bulldogs lead. It's 31-25. We go to the second half. Henry Meyer getting the put back in the air. Count it. Make it. 31-27 still in favor of the Bulldogs. Bulldogs, Jack Schreiber finds Isaac Foss for two, and he gets the foul. Wabashaw Kellogg not going away, though. Caleb Springer to Ryan Hardick. Nice up and under move. Make it 35-29 in favor of PEM. And the Bulldogs hold on to win by 10 in their home court, 57-47. More scores from around the Three Rivers Conference. Caledonia, a big win, 74 to 49 over Con Cotter. Another overtime game tonight. Dover Yoda squeaks it out over Chatfield, 62 58. And the Rushford Peterson Trojans, no problem on the road, winning by 10 over Gilmore Central. Some more scores from Three Rivers Conference opponents. Excuse me, Gopher Conference, that is. Kenyon Wanamigo loses on the road at Blooming Prairie. Hayfield, tough night on the road visiting Bethlehem Academy and United South Central. They fall to JWP 64 to 52. More Gophers Conference scores here. This one a Gopher Conference game at the top. Triton 
takes down Randolph 75-65. A non-conference game, WEM takes down Nicolette handled 73-49. to Now one more slate of boys basketball scores to get through in the Southeast Conference. Southland upset by Lyle Pacelli, 57-53 tonight. Spring Grove, no upset here. They beat Houston 64-38. Mabel Cannon, a big palindrome win over Leroy Ostrander, 86-68. One last final Southeast Conference scores here. Glenn Vilemans, a nice home win over Grand Meadow by 20, 76-56. Schaefer Academy, a big win on the road, visiting Lanesboro, 88-69. And Kingsland, they defend their home court, 82-48 over Alden College.